If you clicked on this video, then your sex life will forever be changed. Semen retention is single-handedly the most important practice to improve your performance in the bedroom and to fully master the art of sex. Stay tuned until the very end, guys, for life-changing information. What's poppin', YouTube? It's your boy, Sabi. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode. Welcome to my channel. The first benefit that I wanna talk about is higher libido. You see, when you're retaining, not only are you retaining your actual physical seed, but this energy, this chi, this prana is building up inside of you, right? It's growing stronger. This fire is building, right? And because of that, guys, you have a higher libido, a higher desire for sex, right? You can get aroused easily, right? If your girl looks at you, if she's in the bedroom with you, you know, she touches you, that arousal is there. You see, a lot of men are actually suffering from ED or erectile dysfunction, they can't get aroused. And the reason is, is because of pornography. You see, pornography wreaks havoc on your nervous system and the nervous system plays uh, a vital role in arousal, guys. And, you know, when you're watching these videos, when you're watching, you know, the vulgar content online, you know, it's desensitizing you, not only up here because, you know, you have the dopamine influx of, you know, chemicals, neurochemicals and, and causes an imbalance. And next thing you know, you need the, the images and, and, the, and the videos to get off because if you don't have that, right, it's hard for you to get, you know, a strong, hard erection compared to, you know, um, if you're on retention, guys, it's so much easier to get more erect and easily because you're retaining. Also, another thing is that pornography desensitizes you to touch, the sensation of touch, you know, because you're jacking off all the time, touching your penis, you know, in, in different ways all the time. You know, when a woman touches you, you're just not that hard. Like I mentioned, right, it's, it, it wreaked havoc on your nervous system and that's exactly why, guys. And so when you practice retention, it brings back, you know, that feeling of touch again. You become sensitive to touch again, you know, and, and that's the beauty of retaining and, and abstaining from pornography and masturbation is that you become like, you know, childlike again. You become like a, a young teenager again. A lot of men out here, guys, you know, are taking uh, sex pills. They're taking Blue Chew, Viagra, Cialis, you know, the list goes on of all the sex pills, but what's really confusing me and what's really crazy is that younger men are taking these pills, right? In their 20s, 30s, 40s, uh, it's because, you know, they can't get it up, you know? And I, and I get it, guys, we've all gone through that experience. Maybe, you know, you were nervous one time or whatever, right? A lot can happen, you know? And yeah, you maybe suffer from ED at least once in your life as a man, but if you're suffering from ED, you know, uh, over and over and over again because of your porn use or masturbation or whatever, then guys, retention is the answer for you because this is the thing, when you have a higher libido, right? It leads to more intense sessions in the bedroom, right? Because you want, you want to please your partner, right? You're more horny, you're more aroused, right? And that in turn causes your partner to be more aroused as well, right? But when you can't get it up, the, your partner thinks it's something with her right that she she messed up or you know she's not attractive enough for you but it's not usually the partner it's our own anatomy it's our own you know physiology that we sort of messed up by you know watching and indulging in all this pornographic content guys so retaining your seed and allowing that chi and prana to build up will lead you to a higher libido you know and that's honestly the beauty of semen retention another thing i want to talk about guys is lasting longer in bed you see, a lot of men also suffer from premature ejaculation, right? The average statistic, I think, is like five to six minutes for, you know, the average male, guys. That's how, that's how long they last in bed until they get their, you know, orgasm or ejaculation. But this is the thing, right? I think it takes at least 20 minutes for the woman, you know, to warm up and to, to get fully aroused and then get her orgasm, 20 minutes, guys. So, you know, if you're coming in five minutes, she's not having the time of her life. She's not really enjoying that session as much as she should or as much as she can if you, you know, did your part as a man to improve your, you know, performance in the bedroom. And so retention allows you to last longer because the thing with premature ejaculation, it comes one from overexcitement like you do when you watch porn and jack off, right? So that's why a lot of men, that are you know jacking off one hand on the mouse, one hand on their Johnson is stroking away with the sole aim, sole purpose of coming, right? Because this is the thing. 
pornography is not there to make you last longer, right? You're not you're not jacking off to, to last longer in bed. You're jacking off because you want to get your nut, right? The thing is, sex and masturbation are two complete different worlds, right? Sex is more about uh, bonding and lovemaking and enjoying the journey. Masturbation is more about just getting to the nut, right? And so, guys, you have to understand that they have two different objectives, at least if, if you come at it from that angle. If you're coming too quick, if you're ejaculating prematurely and your girl is not even, you know, enjoying the sex in the bedroom, then you're not really doing much, right? You pretty much suck at sex, to be honest, right? So you see the tip and trick to last longer when you're practicing retention and, you know, you're stroking inside your woman is, you know, right when you're about to reach climax, right when you're about to, you know, get to the edge before you spill over, contract that PC muscle, which is your pelvic floor muscle, right? And pull back everything that, you know, is, is about to come out. Hold it, hold it in guys, you know, because this is a thing, right? That the semen comes from the testes, goes up the scrotum, right? Up to the penis and then obviously, you know, shoots out. But guys, if you can squeeze that muscle, you know, practice kegels, guys, practice kegel movements, that will really allow you to get better at, at that sensation of, of pulling and then holding and, and squeezing that muscle so you don't release, right? And so what happens is all of that goes back in your body and you can have something known as, you know, uh, an internal orgasm, which I'll get into shortly, right? Also, guys, remember breath work, right? You have to breathe through your belly. Do deep breathing through your belly because this is a thing, right? When you're breathing through your chest, that's shallow breathing. That's breathing from the sympathetic nervous system, which is more of like your fight and flight response, right? So when you're breathing your, through your chest, right, you're breathing in, in a stressed way. You're breathing in a tense way, you know, and that's only going to allow you to spill more easily. But when you breathe from your belly, right, you're practicing breathing through, you know, that parasympathetic nervous system comes into play. And because of that, you're able to relax and slow down and you allow this energy to go from your sacral chakra, which is, you know, your, your genitalia up through the rest of your body, you know, which allows you to last longer in bed, guys. So practice this secret of um, breathing, breath work, and also the PC muscle contraction, right? These two movements, I promise you, if you can practice, you will last longer in bed without a doubt. I do it all the time, guys, you know, and sex will become way more pleasurable. Let's get into another benefit, guys, of retention is you become the multi-orgasmic male. Guys, if you have read the book, Cultivating Sexual Energy by Montauk Chia, I'll post it up here. Um, check that book out, guys, because it really teaches you uh, everything I'm explaining, but and it goes way more in depth, right? It's, it's a really big book, guys. The truth is, you know, we've been conditioned by society to think that men can only come or ejaculate or have that orgasm one time, but you know, this is false. This is not true. Uh, we have to learn to separate the orgasm from ejaculation. Right, you can have an orgasm without ejaculating. I know that sounds crazy because you know you think that every time you bust is when you orgasm. No, guys, you can have something known either as a retrograde ejaculation or what I like to call it is an internal orgasm, is where you don't release, but that sensation right feels the same right it's all through your body and you know this can allow you as a man to have multiple orgasms through your sex you know act whatever you know you can have maybe two three orgasms in like a 40 50 minute span if you know exactly how to practice uh you know this art of retention but also the breathing and also, you know, being able to understand your body. You see, one downside of pornography is that you forget, you know, how to really focus on the sensations and the feelings in your body. I think pornography, like I mentioned, desensitizes you from your body, right? So when you're watching porn, your eyes are only focused on, you know, the videos and, and your hand is just focused on your penis. But when you're in the act of sex and you've retained and you've done the work, right, you really feel into the act of sex. You really feel into your body you can feel the different movements you can feel you know where your energy is is it all condensed down there in your sacral chakra or is it you know spiraling throughout the rest of your body you can you can sense these slight you know changes in energy guys it's crazy how sensitive you become when you practice retention and when you practice this art you know of course we know that women can come multiple times but men can as well you know men can come multiple times as well if you practice and you learn these techniques right then guys sex will forever be different for you right now it becomes more about the act 
than, than just reaching that orgasm, right? And this leads me to my, you know, last benefit of semen retention and how it can improve your sex is that guys, you know, if you practice semen retention and you're having sex, sex becomes more than just a physical act. It becomes something spiritual, especially if you're doing it with someone that you love, someone that you care about, someone that means something to you, right? Maybe your wife, uh, your girlfriend, whatever, right? It becomes more about bonding. It becomes more about love making. It becomes more about caressing and exploring your partner. And it becomes more about, you know, getting closer and more intimate with your partner. You see, what separates a, a, a master of sex compared to any average male is, you know, what your intention is when you're having sex, right? Do you fully give yourself to your partner? Do you fully give yourself to the lovemaking? We've only thought of sex as just a means to an end, but rather, guys, sex is, you know, an, a journey. That's why, you know, if you practice retention and you practice tantra, you can have sex for hours, right? There's there's records of, you know, people doing uh, sex for hours in, in tantra sessions or kareza. You know, kareza is another way to actually have a healthy monogamous relationship uh, is, is to practice sex without ejaculation ejaculation guys you can practice sex without ejaculation whoever said that sex you must release in sex also lied to us guys that's the fact we don't have to release during sex both partners even women and men can both have internal orgasms without having to release that sexual energy and the thing is when you don't release it right the arousal stays within right you're still aroused you're still you know in tune with your partner you still want more from your partner right um and and that that attraction is still there because you've noticed, right, when men come, when men ejaculate, right, that attraction dissipates, right? Then then they don't want to be around their partner anymore. They want to sort of, you know, go away or want them to go away. But when you keep that energy retaining within yourself, right, you know, you become this charged, vibrant, you know, vibrational. You become this magnet almost. And both partners can feel it. It's, a, it's an incredible feeling, guys. You have to do it for yourself, you know? This is my message for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Take care and stay tuned, guys, for a lot more content coming your way. Peace.